Good morning, Skidaway. This morning, I want to share a little bit about myself, as embarrassing as it might seem. I, as a child, was very imaginative. I'm still imaginative, but then more so. I used to go outside every day. I'd take my bow and arrow, and I'd go into the fields and into the woods, and I would have these amazing battles against the forces of evil. And my powers, as it were, included being able to speak every language of the world, including the language of animals. And so I would go into battle with my native friends and all of my animal friends, and we would defeat evil. Well, as a child, I did not understand why God would take away our ability to share the same language. I thought it was a horrible punishment for the tower, for the people um, who built the Tower of Babel, and it didn't really compute why until I became much older and could start to understand what they actually did. See, following the destruction of the world, God has pressed the reset button on his creation. We are once again his image as intended so we're supposed to spread his image through the world by going forth and procreating being fruitful well there were some people that decided that's just not what they had in mind it says in genesis 11 and they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky. Let us make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. It doesn't sound like such a great cry until you start looking at it in its context. God has told them to go forth, to spread out over the earth and to multiply. And they've done the exact opposite. They've congregated. But the real kicker is, they said, let us make a name for ourselves. Well, here's the thing. They had already been given a name as children of God. The children of Yahweh. See, God is the one who has the name. A powerful name. And they said, let's make one for ourselves. It's the Garden of Eden all over again. We look for our own Godship. We look to make idols of ourselves and we never truly intend it to be that way. But when we willfully disobey God, that is exactly what we make ourselves to be is God. Because if we don't listen to God, if we don't submit to God, we're saying that our choices, our power is better and more than Yahweh. It leaves me flabbergasted. My prayer for us today as a church is that we remember his name and we keep it holy. It's that we will submit ourselves, that we humble ourselves back to where we're supposed to be. And that is the children of God, the image of God, no doubt, but just a mere reflection of him. And as his reflection, we're supposed to be doing his works in the world, and that requires our obedience. Have a good day, Skidaway.